Welcome to tutorial 20 of Photoshop Scares Me. The wife's away, so you know, thought I'd make a video. Let's add some fog to a Milky River photo that I took. We're going to do most of this in Adobe Camera Raw rather than Photoshop, just because we can. Now the initial picture is pretty good. We need to add lots of contrast. I'm going to keep the white balance where it is, but I am going to lower the exposure a little bit. Now the next thing we need to do, recovery, I don't think so. I want the whites to be blown out, but I will add some fill light, probably quite a lot, because this will aid with the grittiness uh, as we move along. Uh, blacks, don't really care about. Brightness, because I lowered the, the uh, exposure, I need to add a little more brightness, take it up on that. And then the contrast, I'm gonna push this really high, probably up into the 80s. Here we go, 82. Now, normally when I do pictures like this, I increase the clarity, but this time, because I'm gonna add fog, fog actually diffuses the image, so I need to make it soft. So I'm gonna lower it by 30-ish, and I'll take a tab of the color out, because also that's what fog does. Now, you go left to right across these tabs, but I'm gonna go right to left. Now, when using split toning, the first thing you ever do is whack the saturation up to maximum. Now, what I'm gonna do here is map the highlights. I'm gonna map them onto red, which is where they were. So really, I'm just gonna boost them probably around about 30-ish percent. And we'll move on to look at the uh, shadows. Same thing, increase the saturation so you can see what you're playing. And I want the shadows to be a green blue because this is gonna be a weird kind of alien picture. So we set them uh, around about 200-ish and then I lower the saturation right back down. So that was easy, split toning done. Now for the hue, saturation and luminance, starting with luminance. This is where I map every single color in the picture to be something else. Now there are no reds, there are tons of oranges, so I will probably lower those a little bit, remove them the same, and the yellow, that's this insipid color I don't like, so I'll lower that as well. Green's the major color of this picture, so I'm gonna increase that, and there really are no aquas and blues and purples, so I'll move on from those. All right, that looks good. Let's move on to the saturation. Now this is odd, having taken out certain colors, I'm now going to add them back in again using their saturation. Again, this is because it adds um, contrast and it adds that grittiness. So I've boosted the oranges, I've boosted the yellows, and uh, let's move on to the hues. Now, oranges, I'm gonna map those onto, uh, let's have a look. Actually, I'm gonna map those onto orange, that's the boring. Yellows, I think I will map to green because that's gonna look actually kind of cool. And greens, if I map those to yellow, check this out. That's a nice effect. Now this picture needs more contrast. So we go into the next tab, we choose strong contrast, and then here I'm gonna completely blow out all the highlights, maximize those. I'm gonna do the same for the shadows. Really pull those things down. Pull that down, and ah, the shadows look too dark. Let's take it a little bit back up again. And we're done. All right, Command J, we're gonna add the blur to this layer. We're actually gonna add two layers. One's gonna be blur, one's gonna be the fog. So the first thing we do, we convert for smart filters. Then we add another filter, which is the Gaussian blur, probably maybe five, six pixels. All right, that looks about right. Now lower the opacity to let some of the sharpness of the trees through. There we go, and now add a new layer which we'll call fog. And you do that by clicking this. I'm gonna add a solid color which we would like to be white. And again, we lower the opacity, maybe 30%, which is about where they are. And Command G to put them both into a folder. Now we're going to add a mask to the folder so that we can hide the blur and the mist selectively in the image, which is important because fog actually is selective. So we select the graduation tool, we drag it up, and I did it wrong, I always do it wrong, hit Control Z, undo it, hit X to reverse the colors and do it again. So how's that? We now have fog at the top of the picture and we have crystal clear air at the bottom, but it's not quite right. So I'm gonna select a brush, I'm gonna make it nice and soft. I'm going to uh, then just roughly paint on this mask 10% with uh, black and it will rub out some of the some of the rock, there we go. It's rubbing out the fog over the rock. I option clicked on the mask there just to show it. So let's uh, crop this thing down to what we want. Nice foreground image there. And let's add some focus control. I'm gonna use the elliptical tool and I'm simply going to drag corner to corner with a feather of 250. Now 250 is not enough. So we'll do selection, modify feather, add an extra 100. And then we're gonna simply invert that and then fill it with black. How cool is that? Command D gets rid of the ants, lower the opacity. All right, 30%, there you go. That really brings the eye in. Now I know I spoke fast, but my steak's going warm here, so, and I got some things to drink. So uh, next time, bye.